are setting up and arriving, just go ahead and make your way up to the top of your mat. We'll just take a few moments here, so just go ahead and take your time, no rush. So finding yourself in mountain pose, perhaps with your feet about hip distance apart, toes pointing forward, just to establish a strong foundation for yourself. Feeling grounded and connected here. And as you continue to arrive, just start to get reacquainted with your breath. Just notice your breath. You might take a few deep breaths, a nice long, slow breath in, and a complete breath out. You might do that a couple of times, and then just settle into slow, steady breaths. And you're welcome to keep your eyes open. And if they are open, you're just taking a soft gaze forward or downward at the ground. Of course, you can just close your eyes. Just take this journey inward. Slow, steady breaths. And you can just hold here in stillness as you connect to the strength and power of mountain pose as you arrive, beginning our practice together. You can also just do a nice body scan and just kind of check in. Notice how you're feeling. And if that requires a little bit of movement, maybe a little circle of your shoulders, a little head movement, neck. Feel free and just kind of check in, even down the body to your hips and your knees and your feet. Good. As you're breathing in, just feel the breath rising to fill up your lungs, feeling expansive, the upper portion of your body. And as you exhale, connecting to your center, just drawing navel inward towards spine, that light contraction of your abdominal muscles, just finding your center. Again, as you inhale, just find and feel the lengthening in your spine, filling up your lungs, Exhale, connecting to center, the abdominal lock, Uddiyana Bandha, navel towards spine. Just take three more breaths like this. Using these breaths now to prepare your, your body to move. When you're ready, inhale and extend your arms overhead. Just reach and stretch. Good. Then exhale. It's fold forward, so a good hinge from your hips. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Just take your time, making your way down, maybe touching your toes or the ground, or maybe just a partial fold where your hands land at your shins or ankles. Then inhale, slide your hands up to your shins or knees to extend your spine so it feels long and flat like you're a table. Exhale, fold. And again, just kind of melting down towards toes, either touching your toes or a partial fold where hands are just resting on your shins. And just kind of tune in and check in here, noticing how this feels, add movement if it feels good for you. Perhaps just hanging heavily forward, sometimes I call this rag doll, and so your arms can go loose and Circles of the shoulders forward and then backward and kind of a stirring of the arms like you're stirring a big pot of soup. Maybe nodding yes, shake your head no. Even a little sway of the upper body. Noticing those hamstrings, maybe they're getting a little bit of a stretch right here, even with knees bent. All right, take just one more breath in this forward fold. We'll get ready to stand. Go ahead and shift your weight back into your heels. Bend your knees like you're going to sit down into a low chair. And look forward. Extend your arms out to the side and use that to help stand up. Good. Nice and tall. Reach into the sky. Exhale. Bring your hands to heart or arms down by your side. Either one. Hold for a moment here. Taking a breath. 
and go through that same sequence, our half salute to the sun. Whenever you're ready, inhale, extend your arms all the way up, touch the ceiling, exhale, leading with your heart, fold forward, good bend in the knees, all the way down or to your personal depth here. Inhale, sliding hands up the legs to extend your spine till the crown of your head leads you forward. Long, flat back, exhale, fold again. Just a brief pause here at the bottom as you prepare to stand. Once again, shifting weight into the heels, bend your knees, look forward, extend your arms out, then up, standing tall. There it is, reaching a little higher. Exhale, hands to heart or arms down by your side. Love it. Good. A few breaths here. Continue with our sun salutations. Always okay to move at your own pace. Here we go. Inhale, reach into the air. Nice lengthen either the sides of your body. Good stretch. Exhale, let's fold forward, making your way down. And inhale, sliding your hands up the legs, extending your spine. I'll call it monkey pose. Exhale, fold and bend. Take your time until you're low enough so you can bring both hands to the floor. You can walk or step or even hop both feet back into plank pose or a high push-up position. Take a breath in right here. This exhale, bend the knees slightly and send your hips up into the air, moving right away into downward facing dog. I just consider this a little shortcut. Moving right away into down dog. You can do this anytime in the practice. And then just kind of step into place. Just notice where your feet are. Do they feel right for you? Adjust your hands. Yeah, so you feel good. You don't feel like you're going to slip or topple over. Either hold in stillness or add movement here. Pedal the feet if you like to get a stretch through your calves and toes. Nice. A little bend of the knees, shifting of hips, whatever feels good. Just intuitive motion here. Let's get ready to move. Start with a full breath in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, draw belly in, core connection, bend your knees to walk, step or hop, both feet return to the top of the mat to forward fold, there you go. Inhale, extending the, through your spine, you feel like your crown is coming forward. Exhale, fold again, right away, weight shift into the heels, bend your knees, inhale, reverse your swan dive, let's grow tall, reach into the air. And this exhale, take chair pose, so moving right away into our series B of our sun salute, starting with our chair pose, let's breathe in. And exhale, dive out of the seat, back down towards toes, forward fold. Inhale, lengthening through your spine, monkey pose. Exhale, fold and bend, hands to the mat, walk, step or hop, both feet back into plank pose. Now you can do that same shortcut to down dog or with this next exhale, finish your push up. Yeah, bend your elbows, come down to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, a little back bend, might be cobra, upward facing dog. There, nice. Exhale onto your toes, lifting hips into the sky. There's your downward facing. And again, just kind of stepping into the posture, adjusting feet and hands to arrive in the posture. And we'll continue with our lunges. Inhale, extend your right leg up behind you, reaching for the wall. Perfect. Exhale, bring right foot up to the top of the mat for warrior one, landing near right hand. Turn left heel to the floor behind you. Nice, strong connection with that back foot. Elongate your torso out over your thigh. Then inhale, hinge from hips, rising up, reaching into the air. First warrior. Exhale, hinge and fold, going back down. Plant your hands into the mat. Let's slide that right foot back into plank pose. Take the shortcut to down dog or chaturanga, coming down, bending the elbows. Inhale to your back bend, cobra or sphinx or up dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Arriving in the space, make your adjustments. When you're ready, inhale, extend left leg up into the air, find the wall. Exhale, yes, left foot to the top of the mat in your left hand. Right heel can turn to the floor, good, you guys. Plant that right heel, <clears throat> strong, long spine. Inhale, hinge from hips, rising up, warrior one. Exhale, hinge and fold, hands back down to the ground, step back, plank pose. Finish your sequence, we'll just meet together in Downward Facing Dog. Just taking the sequence that you'd like right here, taking your time, never needing to rush. Yeah, nice, even holding those postures, I love it. And once you're in Down Dog, a breath or two right there.
go to the mat. You're going to take a seat. So you can just kneel down here, sit back into hero, then sit off to the side. Make sure you're sitting in the center of your mat and go ahead and roll down onto your back. You might even hug knees into chest briefly and then set feet onto the ground. We're going to get prepped for bridge pose. So just lying flat, knees bent, feet flat on the ground. Hold here for several breaths. One just to reconnect with breathing and also connect to the ground. When you're ready, inhale to fill up your lungs. Exhale, empty your belly to engage your core center and then lift your hips up into the air. Of course, that's the pressure of the feet into the ground, peeling your hips up off the ground as they rise up, that's it. And you might be using your arms <clears throat> to help you lift, maybe bending your elbows at 90 degrees where your fingertips are reaching for the ceiling. So you can just kind of press down into the ground with the backs of your arms and see if that helps lift and support, yes, your upper body. You can even use your hands underneath you, just lift yourself up or hold yourself up if you need to. If you want to make this more of a restorative posture or more restful, you can slide a block underneath you and sit on it. All right, go ahead and wiggle your toes forward a little bit. Extend your arms up into the air, good, and then roll your way back down to the ground. Nice, let's see, elongate through the body, extend the legs out front, maybe reach your arms behind you and reach and stretch in these opposite directions. There you go. Excellent. Go ahead and draw knees to chest. You can hold here for several breaths if you'd like to add some motion. Yeah, you, know, you might rock left and right a few times, some circles, and eventually start rocking forward and back until you're able to sit up, coming to boat pose, Navasana, Navasana. Now boat pose can be done many ways. You can even do this with feet or heels on the ground. You can certainly lift the feet bent knees, you can hold on to the legs here. I like doing that initially to help extend spine, being sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Nice long spine, of course, we're at an angle. Chin slightly lifted, long spine. Inhale to fill up lungs, exhaling to engage your center. Yeah, either holding on or you might release the legs, freeing up the hands. Okay, let's continue, let's breathe in. Exhale, cross legs. If you can, hands in front to hop both feet back into plank or just lean to the side and just kind of swing or step both feet back into plank pose, arriving in the straight line here. Let's take another shortcut to down dog. Just bend the knees a little, send your hips into the sky. And we'll continue with our lunge sequence. <clears throat> Go ahead and inhale, extend right leg up behind you. Once again, finding the wall. Exhale, bring right foot to the top of the mat. Back to our warrior one, landing, left heel turns to the ground. Take your time, rising up when you're ready. Warrior one, exhale, opening to warrior two. Here you might want to adjust your feet underneath you for good balance. <clears throat> you get a nice deep lunge, right knee and toes, for the most part are pointing directly forward. Good extension, good energy through your arms here, yeah. And then side angle pose, reaching out, yeah, past the right hand angled upper body, then rotate your arms, so right hand's reaching down towards the floor, left hand reaching towards the ceiling. Again, a nice variations are available to you in this pose. Yeah, your right hand or fingers might touch the floor or bring in a block. Or your arm, your straight arm, might be against the right inner thigh, so fingertips never have to touch the ground. Or your right arm might be bent and it's resting lightly on top of the leg. That's really nice. Okay, breathing in. And our exhale to turn, so you can bring both hands down to the floor, step back into plank pose, hold for a moment, just reestablishing that nice core energy, upper body strength. Soft knees, hips to sky, downward facing dog, our shortcut again to down dog, stepping into place, moving when you're ready, inhale, extending left leg up, reaching back, and your exhale to step left foot to the top of the mat in your left hand where it lands, right heel turns to the floor, feel grounded, then rise, inhale, yes, reaching for the ceiling, and our exhale, opening the warrior two. Stepping into place, left knee and toes forward, tall, long torso, straight up and down. Your torso here is the center of this posture. Outstretched arms. This is one of these poses I call sideways poses, 
We're going to be doing a lot of sideways poses today. Okay, that's kind of our theme today. Let's take a side angle, reaching forward, rotate the arms, left hand down, right hand up. Same thing, you don't have to go all the way down. Certainly welcome to stay up much higher in this pose, just as long as you feel sideways, kind of opening up towards the right side of the room. Mm -hmm. It's a great hip opener. Even though it's not a back bend, I consider it a heart opener because of the extended arms. Here we go, breathe in. And your exhale to turn. Let's bring the hands to the floor and slide the left foot back to meet the other. Either take that same shortcut to down dog or finish with Chaturanga Dandasana. You can even bring knees to the floor first, then chest. Maybe a low cobra as your back bend. You decide. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding for a moment. Ready to move. A full breath in, filling up your lungs. Exhale, bend knees, walk, step or hop. Both feet return to the top of the mat, stay on your feet. Inhale to extend spine, monkey. Exhale, fold. Weight shift into the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, growing tall, reaching into the air. Exhale, hands to heart or arms down by your side. Very nice, you guys. All right, so our postures are themed today, kind of sideways postures, and some of them are gonna be involve balancing. So let's get in some balancing here, starting with tree pose. So first want to feel balanced on two feet. So feel really connected to the ground, both feet, even put a little slight bend in the knees and start shifting your weight into your right foot. So you really feel plugged in over there. Yeah. And then an inhale to feel tall, lengthen spine, fill up the lungs, exhale, engage core. And then we'll just peel that left foot up off the floor, pointed toes or flexed foot, just something active down there. So your leg is active, strong, and then we'll swing the knee out to the side. That's it, that's our hip opener. And then plug the foot onto the inner leg. It can be high, way up high, or down a little bit lower or much lower if you need to. Don't worry if the knee doesn't point directly to the left. It might be at an angle, that's fine. Then an inhale to extend the arms up into the air. It might be straight up, it might be outward here, even a slight bend in the elbows, perfect, or more bend in the elbows. Finding your focal point or drishti point might be directly forward or somewhere low, since it's, it could be hard to focus on a blank wall here. Nice, you guys. Excellent. Drishti, that focal point. Let's keep the arms extended, swing left knee forward, lifting knee with a flexed foot or pointed toes, bring the foot back down to the ground, arms down to your side, and actually shake all that out once you're done, mm -hmm. even down to the feet. <clears throat> Once again, setting up, balanced on two feet, a little softness in the knees, just so you're not, not locking out the knee joints, shifting weight into left foot, nice strong con connection there. Inhale to extend spine, fill up the lungs, exhale core connection, peeling right foot up uh, off the floor, flex foot or pointed toes. Thigh might be parallel to the ground, swing the knee out even at an angle, that's fine. Placing foot somewhere on the inside of the standing leg, once you've got that in place, Inhale, take your arms up, reaching straight up, out like a V or a U shape. Your hands could even come to heart center here too. So lots of arm posturing. Drishti, that's your focus or your gaze forward or slightly downward. Maybe down at the baseboard or down at the mat that's in front of you. Breathing. Nice. Strong balancing. Let's keep the arms extended, swing right knee forward now, lifting knee with a flexed foot, then plant the foot into the ground, arms down to your side, shake all that loose. All righty, continuing our flow, go at your own pace. Inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, chair pose. Once in the seat, breathe in, nice extension out through the arms. Exhale, dive out of your seat down towards toes, forward fold. Inhale, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, fold and bend, hands to the ground, walk, step or hop, both feet back, plank pose, come down if you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana. Elbows might hug in towards ribs for support. Inhale for your back bend, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Here, inhale, extend right leg up into the air. Hold it there for a second. Feel the extension, and then we're gonna open the hip. Yeah, just bend your right knee, bring your heel down towards backside. A little lift of the knee, doesn't have to be much. You're gonna experience perhaps a hip opener here. Kind of think about tree pose, because tree pose, although it's a balancing posture, it's a hip opener too. Breathe in, exhale, let's unwind and step right foot to the top of the mat. There it is, next to the right hand, left heel turns to the floor. Take, make, find those connections first, then inhale, rising, warrior one. Exhale, opening, warrior two, settling into place. That's it. Here, you're gonna reverse the warrior, right palm is gonna turn up, reach up into the sky. Nice big stretch there. And then side angle, now right hand will come down, left hand up into the air. Still opening up sideways towards the left side of the room. Heart opener, hip opener. Breathe in. Well, exhale, turn to bring hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose, but we're gonna keep the right foot lifted. Okay, or just lift the right foot if it went down to the floor. Just lift it just a few inches off the ground. Doesn't have to lift very high at all. Okay, just hold there for a moment. And with it lifted, just reach towards the back of the room through your heel or your toes. If you need to peek up here, go ahead and do so because you're gonna bend your right knee. This is how I'm bending the knee. I'm just bending the knee, that right knee. And I'm gonna gently set that right knee onto the floor directly underneath the hip, okay? The whole leg there. And then I'm gonna swing that right foot off to the right side, making a kickstand. We're gonna reopen towards the left side of the room inside plank, just a variation with knee on the ground. That's it. Okay, we're gonna do a couple things here. Okay, so you're opening up, left hand reaching for the ceiling. Let's go ahead and reach this left hand over your head, okay, towards the front of the room here. Reach and extend as best as you can. If you need to bend the elbow, do so. You can keep that left foot on the ground. If it's on the ground, just flex the foot. It just activates the leg. Or you might kind of shift forward a little bit more into the right hand so you can actually pick up the left foot if you want. Just an option right now. And keep reaching. Let's breathe in and exhale. Let's carefully turn, bringing left hand and left knee down to the ground. Let's take cat and cow, several breaths, breathing in, looking forward, looking up, arched back. Exhale, round it all out. Two more times, going at your own pace. Just a nice undulation of the spine. that rocking motion of the pelvis. Good. And just return to your tabletop position here. And return to down dogs. So you might step your hands forward a little bit, tuck your toes and lift knees and hips, and just return to downward facing dog. Do that same sequence on the other side. So whenever you're ready, inhale, extend left leg up, reaching back, feel the extension first, and then open it up. So we'll bend the knee so your heel comes down towards backside. A little lift of the knee, doesn't have to lift high. Just enough where you feel like you're turning a bit open towards the left side of the room. Good, breathe in right there. You're gonna exhale to unwind and step through. Left foot now to the top of the mat. Right heel plants into the ground, warrior one, rising when you're ready. And you're opening to warrior two. That's it. Let's reverse the warrior here. Left palm will turn up, reach up into the sky. And you might reach straight up. You might even reach slightly forward if that feels a little bit better on your back or side bodies. Or even you might be reaching behind you if that feels okay as well. And then now take left hand down towards the floor, right hand reaching up into the air, side angle pose. You can go as low as you need to or want to or stay up as high as you'd like. Okay, breathing in. And our exhale here to turn, bring hands to the floor, step back, plank pose, left foot lifted, same action. Doesn't have to lift very high, just a few inches off the ground. Actively reaching back with the foot towards the back wall, the top of your head is trying to come forward. We're bending that left knee maybe at 90 degrees there, and then gently setting the left knee onto the ground directly underneath the hip. Set the whole leg on the floor, your foot. Swing that left foot off to the left side. 
and then opening up sideways <clears throat> for our side plank variation. There it is, good. Reaching up, nice heart opener. Imagine you're wearing a belt and if that, your belt buckle is trying to push or move forward towards that right wall. Right hand reaching overhead towards the front of the room, active fingers reaching. Stay just like this maybe. That right foot can stay on the floor with a flexed foot. We're kind of shift forward a bit into that left hand. This is the change of the center of gravity. So you can pick up the right foot if you'd like at this moment. Nice, good extension, breathe in. And our exhale to carefully turn, right hand and right knee back down to the floor. Bring that kickstand back in. Another cat and cow flow here. Getting all that nice motion through the spine, movement through the pelvis. Good. Now as you're able, maybe sitting back into hero pose, or if this is a little uncomfortable, you don't want to sit too long in this posture, because it's a lot of, it could be a potential strain on the knees and ankles. Just, just sit down. You can just sit on the floor. All right. In a moment, we're going to go back to bridge pose. We're going to do it slightly differently. <clears throat> so here's that prep. Just lying flat, knees bent, feet flat on the ground. I'm going to exhale and lift. Getting the arms a little bit underneath. You see, I'm kind of picking up my body and getting that shoulder underneath. Maybe bending elbows here, pressing the triceps and elbows into the floor just to help support and lift the upper body. So this is, we'll, we'll repeat this. And then I'm going to have you bring the arms down and just see if you're able to reach your feet, okay? And don't worry if they don't touch, if your fingers don't touch the heels at all. It's just kind of a, just seeing where you are, okay? But we are going to try something. We're going to come up and then come back down. Hug knees into chest. Use your hands and make the letter C like you're doing sign language. Make the letter C. From the outside of the legs, grab your ankles. Then with an exhale, you're setting the feet back down on the floor. Once the feet touch ground, you're going to lift the hips up into the air. And once again, getting those shoulders underneath. Okay. Now, if you're unable to grab ankles and lift, don't grab the ankles. And you'll know, and I'll, I'll take a look. If your heels end up lifting, <clears throat> while you're trying to grab your ankles, or I'm going to try to do this. If your knees are jetting way forward, out past your toes or ankles, then don't grab your ankles, okay? Just go back to maybe your feet or maybe you're something like this, okay? All righty. So just a different version of our back bend there. <clears throat> so if you're still in hero, just go ahead and take a seat. Swing the legs around to the front. Find the center of your mat. Go ahead and roll down, hug knees in, and then feet to the ground. So we're just going to do two bridge poses. One's more of a re repeat of the first one. <clears throat> With an exhale, lifting hips up into the sky. Good. And if you're able, getting these shoulders and arms a bit underneath you. Yeah, that might require a little bit of a rocking left and right to get the arms a bit underneath you. Elbows can be bent, pressing down into the ground to help lift the upper body. Okay, you put, if you can get a sense of it, I can see it. Your knees are, are right over your ankles, okay? Your shins are straight up and down. That's it, okay? Now, just, if your arms are bent, straighten the arms, place your hands on the floor, and just notice if you're able to touch your heels. You don't have to make any changes. If you're not touching them, don't worry about it. Just bring the arms down, just a little change, okay? Now, carefully roll your way down to the ground. You might be want to wiggle the feet forward a little bit, make some space, and then roll down. Hug knees into chest, okay? And do your sign language letter C with the hands, okay? From the outside, Grab the ankles, so the thumbs kind of wrap around the, from behind. Now, take a breath in. When you exhale, you're going to set the feet down and lift hips right up into the sky. See if you can hold on to the ankles. But if, it doesn't, if it, that doesn't work, because it may not, it might not work, okay? Release the ankles, step your feet forward, okay? And then lift like you just, like you just did. That's it. Maybe your fingertips are just touching the heels, or they're not touching them at all. 
Okay, just a different variation of the posture. One more breath in and out. Nice. Good. Release the ankles. Wiggle the feet forward. Extend arms up into the air. Roll your way down. Once you've made it safely to the ground, yeah, re-extend. Lengthen the legs out front. Reach the arms behind you. Reach and stretch. All righty. Hug knees in towards chest once again. Start rocking forward and back with a good exhale. Rock your way up to boat pose. Good. Maybe with bent knees, active feet. Strong, straight spine at an angle. Boat pose is just a V-shape. It's kind of shaped like a boat. Okay? Yeah. Active feet, maybe flexing the feet or pointing your toes. There we go. Yes. Let's move. Breathing in. Nice job. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front or to the side to so get your feet back behind you. Plank pose. Complete the series as you'd like to meet, to meet up in downward facing dog. Now you can go through the whole sequence or a variation of it. And we'll add on to our new flow here. Once in down dog, inhale, extend right leg up behind you. Let's bring right foot to the top of the mat. Let's go to a high lunge this time. So left heel will remain lifted. All 10 toes will point forward. You might need to shift weight back to find that centering. Long spine rising up right here. Once you're tall, keep reaching up, but lunge low at the same time. And then hug to center. You want to feel like you're holding onto a block between the knees or thighs and you're squeezing it. So the legs feel active there. Pull belly in. And even feel like you're holding on to something between your hands above you. That's it. From here, we're going to rise up, straightening the legs as best as you can. Pivot left heel to the floor. You'll turn sideways, bringing arms to parallel. Okay? Getting prepped for triangle pose. Now the feet can stay where they are. You can also shorten the distance between the feet if you want. Yeah, then start reaching out over that right leg. Rotate the arms, right hand down, left hand up. Just like side angle, you never have to touch the ground. Your hand might be way up by your shin, knee, or thigh. Again, we're just opening up sideways, that's all. But we've added this nice uh, hamstring stretch. This also affects the hips. Nice long torso. Stay tipped over here. You're going to bend your right knee for a nice deep lunge into side angle. Using that as leverage to come up through a warrior two and reverse your warrior. Taking your right hand up into the air, maybe slightly behind you. We're going to windmill, bring the hands down to the floor. Step back, plank pose, right foot lifted like you did earlier. Okay, nice strong straight line. You're going to bend that right knee as you did before and gently set the right knee onto the ground below, underneath the hip. Make a kickstand with the right foot. Reopen towards the left side of the room here. Yes. Same thing, extend left arm overhead. As you can, do your best. If you can lift that left leg, reach in these opposite directions. Yes, you're going to bend that left knee. Bring your heel towards backside. Take your left hand behind you. Can you, yeah, can you grab hold of the foot or ankle? If not, just reach for the air if you're not touching anything. Nice opening. Still imagine you've got that belt buckle and it's moving forward. Kind of push the belly or pelvis forward. Let's release the foot, re-extend the leg, extend the arm overhead again. Turn and bring left hand and left knee back down to the floor. Bring the kickstand back in. One cat cow, it starts with cow though, it's inhale cow, exhale cat. Tuck toes, lift knees and hips, downward facing dog. Feel the re-extended spine. Now inhale, extend left leg into the air. Exhale to bring left foot to the top of the mat. It's high lunge. Right heel stays lifted. Find your centering, getting the weight off the hands. Then you can float up, hinging up. Okay, hold there for a moment. Feel that nice energy between the knees or thighs, hugging in. Belly as well. Imaginary object between the hands. Love it, yes. Rise up to straighten the legs. Pivot right heel to the floor to turn sideways. Bring arms to parallel. Straight legs, prepped for triangle. Change the distance between the feet if you need to. And then move into triangle. So it's the left arm reaching outward. Rotate arms. Left hand lands at thigh, knee, shin, or ground. It's okay to push your hips back. <clears throat> okay, back meaning to the um, left side of the room while still maintaining a lengthened spine. It doesn't change the integrity of the pose, but it might allow you to go lower if that's where you want to go. 
Okay, stay tipped over, just bend the left knee, a nice deep lunge. Come up, passing through a warrior two, reverse your warrior, left hand reaching into the air. Move you behind you, big windmill to bring your hands down to the floor in front. Step back, plank pose, left foot lifted. Strong straight line. Bend that left knee, gently set the left knee onto the ground, make a kickstand with the foot. And then reopen, side plank. Reaching right hand overhead, nice extension, shifting weight more into that left hand so you can lift the right foot, lifting that leg. And we're creating that back bend, so bend the knee. Reach back with this right hand, maybe just touching the heel, ankle, maybe you can grab hold of it. Send the belt buckle forward. Even finding a focal point here, it might be at the floor or at the wall that you're facing. Let's release, re-extend the leg, arm overhead. Slowly turn, hand to the floor, right knee. Kickstand comes back in, one cat cow. Breathe in to look up or forward, arched back. Exhale, round, tuck toes, lift knees, hips into the air, down dog. That should re-extend spine. Excellent. All right, let's take another little break here. Gonna take a seat, you can hop forward, cross legs to take a seat, or just kneel down, take a regular seat, sit on the mat, sit on your block, get some water, okay, whatever you like here. All right, so this is where we're gonna need our blocks. Let me just demonstrate the next little piece here. Okay, getting more sideways. So I've got the blocks, stacked blocks, a couple of blocks on my right side over here on the top of the mat. <clears throat> so we're just gonna, I'm gonna come to a fold, monkey pose. As I come down, I'm just gonna just land my hand on the blocks. Softness in the knees, I'm shifting weight into my right foot. I'm kind of bunched up here, and that's okay at the beginning, but a nice core engagement for balance because I'm going to pick up this left foot and extend it back. I still feel kind of bunched up, so I'm going to start to extend, extending that back lifted leg, the right leg I'm standing on, even turn my, this block up a little bit to lift upper body and extend forward. So just kind of unbunching and extending. Okay, I'm going to flex that left foot that's in the air. Lifting it will help open up the hip. So we're starting to turn sideways. Okay. Don't worry if you don't open up all the way, okay? And I'm gonna show you a little trick in a moment. So this left hand might be up in the air like this. And you can see this left hand at the moment is not reaching for the ceiling, okay? It can, but you don't have to, okay? <clears throat> what I think this requires is a really stretchy inner thigh <laughs> to really open up, okay? And I like to keep my focus downward. It just helps with balance, okay? If you can see my right foot, it's pointing directly forward. These toes are pointing directly. I don't know how I'm doing this. Because <laughs> I don't do yoga. It's okay. Toes are pointing forward there to help open up the hips. But if that's not available, here's a little trick. Hopefully you guys can see this. Can you see my foot? <laughs> so my foot was going forward, but if you turn, this is my right foot, I'm turning it inward a little bit. <clears throat> you got the block on the floor. If you turn the toes in a little bit or turn the leg in a little bit, <clears throat> which may, I can use that wall. <laughs> You can actually, you might find yourself really opening up just because you turn the leg in, okay? So as we get set up for the pose, I might not remember to say it, but when you're here and shifting weight, turn that standing foot in, okay? And then go for that balance, and you might find that you open right up, okay? All righty, you're seated. Let's go to boat, actually, yeah, come to boat pose, or just first get your blocks up at the top of the mat there and then come to boat pose. There we are, nice. Mm -hmm. Good active feet, long spine, good breath. Inhaling for that lightness up top. It's also strength, core connection, let's flow. Breathing in, good exhale, cross legs, hands in front or to the side, swinging legs back behind you. Just take a shortcut to down dog. Walk, step, or hop both feet to the top of the mat to forward fold. We're going to get right into it right here. You got those blocks ready. Inhale, extending spine monkey. As you fold, just bring the right hand to the right set of blocks. And just kind of step into place so you're close enough to the blocks. Rely on the blocks here. Now, put a softness in the knees. And here, if you want, turn the right foot. 
Just kind of turn the toes in a little bit. Okay? Engage core. So you can pick up the left foot and extend it straight back. Okay, then we're going to start straightening these lines. Reach back with that left leg to straighten it. Maybe turn this top block a little higher so you feel a bit more lifted. Extending through the spine, going forward. All right, we're going to half moons. And then flexing the left foot, lifting it, and starting to turn open sideways. Okay? That's it. Maybe left hand reaching into the air. Yes. Active left foot. Flex the left foot. That will help because it will activate the muscles. That's it. So it will keep that leg in the air. If it goes loose, it's heavy and it drops. Nice, you guys. Breathing in. Good job. We're going to turn. Bring that left hand down to the floor or block. Square out the hips. Bring the left knee in towards chest or chin. Set the left foot down. Just replant the feet. Slide the blocks to the other side. Take monkey pose when you're ready. Exhale, fold. Just bring the left hand to that set of blocks. Kind of step into place so you feel good. A little softness in the knees. Turn that left foot in a little bit if you'd like. Put weight into that foot. Core connection so you can pick up the right foot and extend it back. We're a little bunched up here, so let's find those extensions. Reaching back through that right leg, spine. The left leg is a little straighter, but you can still keep the bend in the knee. Flex the right foot. Do activate it so the uh, uh, muscles of the leg activate and strengthen you and open up sideways. Again, not needing to go completely sideways, but you're really quite opened. Nice, you guys. Half moon. Ardha Chandrasana. Breathe in. Exhale to turn. Right hand to the floor. Square out the hips. Bring right knee in towards chest or chin. Set the foot down. Maybe slide the blocks to the other side again. Monkey pose. Exhale, hands to the floor. Walk, step, or hop. Both feet back. Plank pose. Come down if you like. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, another quick pause. I'm going to show you one more thing. Bring knees to the floor. Sit back into hero or take a regular seat. Okay, I'm going to go back to that half moon pose. Some of you already did this, but I am going to add it to the practice. We're going to open up. We're going to bend this right knee, reach back with left hand and try to grab the foot. Let's say you can't reach it like this. Okay. Trick. Bring the knee in towards your body like this. You'll be able to grab it and then take it back. Okay. And not fall over. There we go. So we just reach for the air or do the little trick, bring the knee in, catch the ankle or foot and send it back. Okay. All right, return to downward facing dog. Let's go through our series here. Here we go. Inhale, extend right leg straight up behind you. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. So kind of back to the beginning, warrior one. Left heel turns to the floor behind you. Rising up, exhale, opening to warrior two. Let's take side angle, reach forward. Rotate the arms, right hand down, left hand up. There's our first sideways pose. Breathe in. Exhale, turn, bring the hands to the floor, going right away to down dog. So sweep the right foot back and up into the air. So you're in down dog, right leg lifted. Bend and twist. Yes. Unwind it. Send right foot to the top of the mat. High lunge this time. Left heel stays lifted. Rising up. Once you're tall here, rise up to straighten those legs. Pivot left heel to the floor, opening up to the side of the room. Prep for triangle. Take triangle. Reach out. Tip it over. There's our next sideways posture. Stay tipped over. Bend the right knee into the lunge. Come up, passing through warrior two. Reverse your warrior right hand up into the air, maybe behind you. Now our windmill, bring the hands to the floor. Step back, plank, right foot lifted. Bend the knee, set the knee on the ground, gently. Make a kickstand. Open up sideways once again. Left hand reaching overhead, shifting forward a bit so you can pick up the left foot. Take that back bend. You can do that same trick. Bring the knee in towards belly, catch the ankle, and then kick it back if you want to do that. Pushing belt buckle forward. Nice, you guys. Release and extend. Turn. Bring left hand, left knee to the floor. Beginning the kickstand. 
cat cow won. Latrine cat return to down dog. We're not done with the right leg, so inhale to re extend right leg, right leg into the air. Right foot to the top of the mat, high lunge, high lunge again. Here we are. Okay, here's our inhale. We're going to exhale, bring hands to this blocks to balance on right foot, left leg goes into the air. You want to take a quick second to kind of turn that right foot in a bit, you can certainly do that. Let's keep the right hand on the set of blocks, flex the left foot, lift it, open, half moon. And then we're going to bind it. So you're going to bend the left knee. Reach back to grab the heel or ankle or do the trick, bring the knee in towards belly, catch the ankle and kick it back. There you go. Nice. There, yes. Release and re-extend. Turn, bring left hand to the floor or blocks. Square out the hips, bring left knee in towards chest or chin. Set the foot down, forward fold. Maybe you'll even move the blocks to the left side. Monkey pose. Exhale, fold and bend, hands to the floor. Hop or step back, plank pose. Come down if you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana. That's our sequence. Up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Whenever you're ready, inhale, extending left leg into the air. Left foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Back to our basics. Right heel turns to the ground, rising high. Yep, exhale, opening to warrior two. Side angle pose, reaching out, rotate arms, left hand down, right hand up. There's our sideways position. You're breathing in. Your exhale, turn, hands to the floor, going right back to down dog. So sweep the left foot back and up into the air. Return to down dog, left leg in the air, bend and twist open. Bend the knee, lift the knee. There's a little twist and hip opener. Next exhale, unwind and step through, high lunge. Right heel stays lifted, finding that centering, then rise. Once you're tall here, shoot straight up to straighten the legs, pivot right heel to the floor, opening up sideways, prepped for triangle, yes? And reach out over that left leg, tip it over. Here's our sideways pose. Let's bend the left knee into a deep lunge. Come back, come back up, passing through warrior two, reversing the warrior, reaching high, yes. And then a windmill, bringing hands down to the floor, step back, plank pose, left foot lifted. Reaching back energetically, bend that left knee, gently set it onto the ground, make a kickstand, and open up sideways again. There you go. Right arm's reaching overhead, shifting weight into that left hand so you can pick up the right foot. Nice extensions there, We're just getting space in the spine so you can create that back bend. So bend the knee, reach back, touch the air, the heel, your toe or do the trick of bringing the knee in towards belly, catch the ankle and kick it back. Hip opener. Excellent, releasing to re-extend. Turn right hand and right knee to the floor, bring in the kickstand, cat cow, ending in cat, moving right away to downward facing dog. Tuck toes, lifting hips, straight spine. Left leg again, inhale, float it into the air. Left foot to the top of the mat, high lunge. We're coming up with an exhale. We're hinging and folding, maybe kind of flying out towards those blocks, maybe both hands, okay? You can even set the right foot down if you need to, kind of get those right toes turned in if you need to, whatever you need, okay? Let's plant that left hand on the blocks a little higher if you want to. Get those great extensions through the body. Flexing the right foot to lift it to help you open up sideways, half moon. Ardha Chandra Chapasana is the bind. So you're bending the right knee, reaching back, maybe catching the foot. There you go. You've got it right there. Kick it back. There's the breath. Good. Releasing to re-extend. Turn right hand to the floor or block. Square out the hips. Right, right knee comes in towards chest, setting the foot down. Forward fold. Finish with those blocks. Spinal extension, monkey. Exhale, fold and bend, hands to the floor, hop or step back, plank pose. Come down one last time, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, 
Next pose is shoulder stand if you want to go to shoulder stand. You would hop forward, cross legs, take a seat, roll onto your back, keep rolling until the legs and hips go up into the air. You're going to catch yourself in your hands. Okay. <clears throat> Or you can just lie flat on your back and just extend the legs in the air. Or come to that bridge pose prep. Lift the hips, slide a block underneath you, sit on the block, and then extend the legs. So lots of ways to get into your inverted pose. Okay, shoulder stand is an option today. You can keep the legs extended, just upward in the air. It's okay if they're not going straight up and down. The knees can even be bent a little bit. You can stay like that. Even come down to plow. So this is how you would come to plow. So the toes would come down behind you, towards the floor behind you. They may touch the ground. They don't have to. Okay, they just kind of hover in space. Or even bend your knees and bring your knees down towards your forehead, just so the knees can stay very bent. Okay, these are all optional today. Okay, support your back and your hands as you need to. We're going to carefully roll all the way down to the ground. Going to fish pose. <clears throat> so it's another back bend. So you're going to lie down, legs straight out in front. You're going to get your arms underneath you. And you have to lie on top of the straight arms. That still means getting the shoulders and arms a bit underneath you, squeezing shoulder blades together. Straight arms, you'll end up sitting on your hands. Palms are down. Point your toes here. With the arms underneath, you just kind of dig into the floor with the elbows to help prop or lift yourself up, upper body. Arch the back so you can tip your head back so you're perhaps seeing the, the wall behind you. Now, the head can stay lifted off the ground, but if you're low enough, you might be able to set the very top of your head on the ground so you can still see the wall behind you. Or you might be propped up a little higher on the elbows. Again, the crown might not touch the floor at all. Nice breath or two, one more breath into the lungs. And to get out of the pose, if your head is on the floor, lift it off the floor, tuck chin in towards chest, lie down, and then release the arms out from underneath you and pause for a moment in this Shavasana posture. Good. Just to kind of deactivate that. And then hug knees into chest. Choose a hip opener that you like. It could be happy baby pose, maybe reclining cobbler's pose, or any variation of a hip opener that you like. Yes, add movement if that feels good for the body. Anything that feels restorative as we're moving towards the end of our dynamic practice today. Whenever you feel complete, certainly no rush, you can do several of those hip openers as you'd like. Just find a spinal twist. You might hug knees into chest, send the knees to one side as the opposite arm reaches the opposite direction there. So a spinal twist of any sort. As you're starting to slow things down, return to the awareness of your breath. Able again to take those slow, deep breaths. made it to your twists, you're on that first side. Make your way to the second side when it's time. you feel complete with these final poses, just come back to center. From here, you're welcome to move right into Shavasana to complete your moving practice. Or if there's any other movement, a stretch, 
anything you'd like to do, something we, we are, you want to repeat or something we have not done together that you'd like to add, please do that here. And then eventually making your way to a restorative posture that could be Shavasana. Today you might want to lie on your side or today you might want to sit up using any props to help support your body here as well. Continue to be aware of your breath. Return to the awareness of your breath, this time taking five slow, deep cleansing breaths, allowing the breath to move freely and fully through your entire body. Feel this pranic energy move into these newly opened spaces spaces you perhaps created in your moving practice today. As you're approaching your fifth breath, just feel movement return to your body, very subtle movements. As movement returns, taking your time, roll slowly onto one side of your body. From there, continue to move in slow motion and guide your way up to seated. Rest your arms and hands in your lap, or bring hands to heart center. And just taking one more breath in and out. Nice. And as we come to the close of our practice together, we bow, saying, Namaste. Namaste.